Hi everybody. I know it's been a miserable long time since we posted here on the Falchomatic YouTube channel. Um, I'm back today. I, I just needed a little bit of a break. We went on this permaculture vacation in which we were wanting to change the way that we're thinking about our property in order to be able to design our entire food growing system with a little bit more care and uh, attention and a holistic sense of how all the pieces are integrated. Well, what that kind of design requires is a sense of observation and calm and stillness. And once I got a little piece of that, I thought, oh, I want more and more of this. It was like, I was just thirsty for calm and quiet. And I think that's the best thing that a vacation can do for you. We still want to give you the best content that we can. We've always wanted that. And it, sometimes we just need a little bit of whoosh, complete calm and quiet to be able to be speaking and living from a really authentic place. So we're doing fine and now we're going to clip back and show you all the places that we've been in the last few weeks because of course there is footage. But I hope that I can capture for you this feeling of rest and silence and stillness which is really rare in the world today I think. Which we entered fully on our summer vacation and now I can share a little piece of it with you. We traveled for two weeks across the inland northwest of the United States with a pop-up trailer named Tubby as our portable home. Road life has some things in common with off-grid life, namely that you give up a certain kind of comfort in return for feelings of freedom. That life comes a little bit more into focus, it can be an experience of sharpness, of, of heightened perception. There certainly can be moments of the world just coming into sharper focus, your experiences seeming to have more meaning, more reality, or a kind of depth. It can also be a very ordinary sort of life in which you become a bit obsessed with laundromats and bathrooms. a lot of amazing things in Yellowstone National Park, but the thing that Sadie most wants to tell you about could have happened to us anywhere. My favorite part of the vacation, a butterfly landing on my shot, crawled up to my head, then flew away. What do you think, Sadie? I like it. Is it gonna go right in your ear? <laughs> <laughs> Just be very still so it'll stay on you. Oh, this is on her hair now. I got lost by a butterfly. My favorite part was when we got into the campsite. And then there's this huge brown thing right in front of our car. What Whoa! Holy moly! I thought, hey! Rock! Why is there a rock in the middle of the road? And then I thought it was a bear. And then I thought it was an elk. And then I noticed it was too big to be an elk. And then I thought it was a moose. And then I got a clear look at it. It was a bison. <laughs> right in front of us. It's coming right through the camp. It's passing through. Just pass, chilling. Pass on through, brother. Brother. Don't lick that truck. <laughs> Don't lick that truck. I like the pool. And where did we go to a pool? In a hotel. <laughs> we just had a great time in the swimming pool. Because the 
trailer lost a wheel and we had to stay in a hotel for a night. So if you've heard it said that the, the thing about pop-up trailers is that they can lose a tire, add us to your list of witnesses that that is true. That happens. That happened to us. And was that your favorite part? Yeah. I know it's a funny thing to say that a life in motion can provide any sense of rest or stillness or even silence, but I think many people have experienced that little bit of magic and may know that it does exist, though it isn't guaranteed. What do you guys think of going home? I can't wait until I see you again. I can't wait till we can come here again. returned to our homestead with a sense of fresh perspective, which provided us both with a sense of security and a sense of urgency, a realization that we do need to grow and change and think differently about our lives rather than simply repeating the same processes over and over on our homestead. It really is time for us to do some big picture thinking and maybe even some adjustments of our priorities, which is how it happened that we then went into a period of real stillness and self-examination. Uh, we tend to sort of jump and be really active. Um, there are things that we can be active on, but this is also the year of making bigger plans and trying to incorporate systems that we can sustain and not work quite so hard. So um, it'll be a mixed year of big progress and uh, slow planning. That thing's giving me more and more. She's all done for right now. Okay. Let's head back to the house. Okay, so actually show them. Here are the black ones. These are our layers. And these are our white ones. These are our boilers. This stuff is here. To hear more about that, though, you'll have to come back for the next one. Here we close our a quick review of our permaculture vacation, a summer trip in our pop-up trailer named Tubby. Good night, Tubby. Yeah.